Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm a proud owner of a minivan and this particular model of minivan, this is the storage or the cargo area. It's not much, but it's the place where I keep my emergency equipment, my jumper cables, my uh, tow pack, my tow ropes, um, my air inflator, and all my emergency, basically my emergency gear during the summer and the winter. And so every time I turn, all this stuff comes spilling out. There's not like a door or anything. And I've considered several things. Take a look here. I've, I've considered like how can I make kind of this wooden wall to build up. Uh, and I, you know, of course measured and whatnot. But I really wasn't happy with that. But uh, here's what I did. And hopefully this video can help you out depending on your specific setup and your model of minivan. I have a Toyota Sienna here. So if you have a Sienna, this will specifically help you. If you don't, then obviously you can take the concepts and apply them to your specific vehicle. So here's kind of the dimensions that I'm dealing with here. And so I went online and I bought this. I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested in picking yourself up one. But basically you stretch it out like this. Make sure you know exactly where you want it to be kind of pinned down at. And you get your drill out and you put drill a hole right through the, the little plastic piece, the little trim piece. And obviously you want to make sure you don't drill through any cords or anything like that. But I'm pretty certain that this particular trim piece does not have any such things. And in fact, it does not. It's just pure plastic. So you can just kind of drill a hole through there. And essentially you'll take a little nut and bolt and slide it through the plastic trim piece as shown. And you just bring your little cargo net piece down. You can put the nut on there first or after. Here's what it looks like with the nut on there first. It just secures and pinches all the way up there, providing a little extra space for that cargo net to secure onto. Now, obviously, it could slip off in theory. So in that case, you would put the cargo net on first and then your little nut on kind of over it and then cinch it up tight with your drill. So here's what that looks like here. Obviously, go nice and slow. You don't want to cut through your cargo net. But look how nice and tight that is. So there's no way that's going to be coming off and it looks pretty nice. That screw head gets really flush with that trim piece so it shouldn't affect, you know, hauling of anything else. Here's a better look at it from the other side there. Good, so that takes care of the top left and the bottom left. By the way, look at the top left. I didn't really show you that, but it obviously hooks onto the uh, built-in latch that's already there, the built-in hook. All right, so the bottom right corner, we're going to do the same thing. There's a nice, uh, easy path right there. And so we'll drill a hole through and put a bolt on there. Obviously, the longer the bolt, the more it has to, the cargo net has to latch onto or hook onto. Um, and obviously, you might want to scrape some of that plastic, scratch, scratch some of that plastic off so that your screw head fits, again, flush against, mostly flush against that trim piece. And we'll put our nut on here. And tighten that up and we should be good to go here in a second. Let's pull our cargo net over. Now obviously you don't want to buy a cargo net that is too big. You want it to be able to stretch nicely so that it secures around your points that you want it to go to. Alright, so our cargo net is latched on and we'll tighten that up. The nut will pinch the cargo net fabric there and secure that nice and firmly. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. I'm happy with that. So that just leaves the upper right corner. Now a little handy tip here, if you pop these little side things off, you might be, you might get lucky. You might be able to either have a, an access point where you can put a bolt a little higher up and basically put the thread the nut on from up there, kind of. In fact, here's something that you could potentially consider mounting perhaps maybe there, if you can get your hand up through that access point, you can drill two holes in the plastic and then you'll have room to put your nuts on um, with your hand there. Now obviously you don't want to put it there because you don't have any place to access the, the nut there if you mount it as shown. So here's another possibility for you if you have some type of bolt with basically two endpoints, but to me that looks kind of jimmy rigged. Um, I'm not a huge fan of an unfinished um, piece of steel kind of sticking out there. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to settle for the seat belt latch. Now obviously you might have a different hook or latch kind of accessible there, but that might give you um, some inspiration. Now uh, 
I mentioned earlier a handy little tip with this access panel. Not only can it provide you access to tighten down a bolt, but you could possibly kind of slide one little cargo net, not two, through, and then pinch it back on, and that essentially provides you a side to your cargo net like that. Now, in my particular minivan, there's another car, uh, little access panel on the left-hand side, so I'll basically do the same thing. I've got wires and stuff going to my taillight back there, so I need to obviously be careful that I don't uh, pinch anything as I carefully clip this. So here's what that can look like, taking one piece or one little side of the cargo net and pushing it, pushing that tight. Yep, there we go. All right, so this is what we are dealing with here at the end of this little project. We've got our sides mounted, our corners mounted, and of course you could possibly put a bolt there if you're you know, worried about it being too loose at the bottom. But here's my access. I can easily unhook it and then fill it up and then hook it back as shown here. So I've got all my emergency gear secured. I can make pretty hard left and right hand turns and not have to worry about things, you know, falling out. So I'm overall happy with this project and uh, yeah, it went pretty well overall. It looks good a lot better than, you know, a wood type Jimmy rigged situation. Um, again, I'll put a link in the description below and hopefully this video has helped you out with uh, this similar problem. And if you're looking for more do-it-yourself jobs and home product reviews, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much.